we're gonna pick this up right where we left off. If you remember my last video from a month and a half ago was the mantle. So we got that completed, quote unquote. Uh, we still needed more components, the fretwork and the volutes. The volutes that Vasil was gonna carve, he actually has those completed. I took a break after completing that Pecky Cypress room. Me and Ashley went up to Oklahoma, Broken Bow, did some exploring, that was fun. It's like granite and slate. And then it seemed like we just started getting slammed with work. We had the barn project, which we're still on. We're kind of punch list items now. We have another project, the 70s house. If you follow Brent's channel, we're helping out over there. Um, they're keeping us busy and I'm not complaining. It's, it's amazing. We've been hiring other carpenters to help us from time to time. Um, we've been keeping Tom busy uh, for, for a lot of stuff. Tom actually kind of took this job on for us. It was a cabinet job where we had this secret pull out. They're gonna wrap it in gold leaf. I'll throw some pictures of that up on the screen right now. Uh, that took a long time for him, like two weeks to get that done. There's a lot goes into a build like that and he did it super precise. So I've been kind of playing like management and also working and just, ha I really haven't even picked up this camera since we were at that mantle video last. But Vasil is pulling up now and he's gonna open it up and we're gonna check out what he has for us as far as these carvings. Please. Thank you. Nice. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. This a little uh, glue. Oh, it's few fine. Few millimeters. Yeah. I've seen it's better. Yeah. Maybe you need, uh, I don't know the size, maybe this big. Oh, this? I can make uh, the elements, maybe. Oh, to add you later? Understand? Yes, yeah. You need bigger. It can be added okay. later? Okay, maybe you need... I'll I check made. it out. Okay? Yeah, I'll check it out today, and I if I need it... I don't know the size, you understand? I think this... Um, this is this a lot, I don't know. Maybe you need, you understand? Yes, yes. I think maybe better. Whenever I put it in, I'll send you a picture. Okay. And then we can take a look okay. at it. I may, maybe you need, I may, not problem. It's few... Maybe, I don't know, no. Hmm? Hmm? Or like a little support, maybe. Will you see? Yes. Yes. This was one day. One day. <laughs> yeah, that's quick. But this is going to be 45 days. Uh, this uh, one element, uh, two days. Two days? Two days, yes. Wow. Two days. That is crazy. <laughs> this is, this is bad, bad wood I made in you. Oh, yeah, you have to add it. This is mm -hmm. bad. Because the grain. This is hardwood, like uh, white oak. oak. <laughs> of course, hard. so hard. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. This is a lot hard. Yeah, to carve in that the project. That's crazy. Maybe we make um, next project. It's a uh, headboard. Y'all are making that? Yeah, it's my it's my client. It's. Uh, I'll show. How many days for this? <laughs> uh, true. One day. Oh no, to make. We need to uh, draw elements uh, wood carving. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, uh, job style. That's crazy. It's not finished. Yeah, I, I like this. I will show you. And I thought the mantle was hard. This stuff is next level. Wow. That is crazy. Now process. Now process.
You carve. This is all wood. Uh, uh, linden and then no wood. This is it's all. A, it's a chill. Is this all the wood uh, linden? Uh, it's my project. I made uh, after work. That is insane. Yes. You carve this all. Bottle, this cup. We can uh, take. Mm. Is this open? <coughs> mm. <laughs> I have secrets. Oh, cigarettes you in can, there. Uh, uh, put. Uh, Hide stuff. A few dollars. A few dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is all wood, right? Like. You carved this? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. I have an uh, idea. Um, may, maybe I made a bigger table. Yeah. Bigger. Uh, maybe, maybe next. I don't know. Now I have a lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, too. Is this um, five ma months? Five months. Five months. Is this uh, four months and uh, help? It's uh, two. I made uh, after work. <laughs> that is so crazy. Italian style. Wow, your face. The card face is so I love, good. I love made face. In the camera, my camera is picking up mm -hmm. face recognition. It thinks it's a real face. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. You are a master. Thank you very much. <laughs> this, this is wild. <laughs> awesome. Appreciate you. I'll see you around. Awesome. Have a good day. Podcast studio back there. So we shoot everything. I, There's I, a horror story for you guys. <laughs> um, I remember one time, very early on, I had this job, and there was a deck. <laughs> oh, no. You know it's going to be good when he can't finish his sentence. This is the yeah. comedy <laughs> hour, not the horror story. But it, it, I was thinking about it the other day. I was sitting there going, what was I thinking? I got one of those. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of them, actually. <laughs> And conveniently, this video is sponsored by Passion for Craft. Welcome back to the Passion for Craft podcast. Today we're at another historic house for an on-the-job uh, walkthrough here. With the column, don't look at it in connection with anything else. What's oh. wrong with the column? Well, there's no uh, intasis. Correct, correct. Yeah. It's a straight tube, uh -huh. okay? That's good. It should be Corinthian if the top's Corinthian, right? Because they even made it stick out in the four areas where there's a column but they just didn't do anything to like make it speak into that, right? Wrong? No. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. You're, you're just focusing on the wrong things, okay? Yeah. The big, the big picture Classic piece. Classic apprentice. Is, <laughs> <laughs> the, the big thing is, is that the, uh, the entablature is wrong that you pointed out, that it is not a Corinthian entablature, okay? And here's, here's why I said in my video, don't ever use the Corinthian. We don't know how, okay? There's not enough people with the sophistication and the know-how to do the Corinthian order in the proper way. It's like someone goes to Versailles and sees Versailles and says, oh, I want to build Versailles, and they got a bunch of money. They can't. No one can, okay? He was the richest person in the world with the greatest craftsman ever, and the, the materials were cheap, and he, and he did that, okay? If you, you can't, Wait, if you, if you had the money, could you? Um, probably <laughs> you can't not. ever. <laughs> Probably not. You don't have the craftsman. Okay. I was. That's what I was curious about. Like, yeah, where's the holdup? Uh, yeah, it's, it's the people. Well, but if you said you have the money, like unlimited money, right? Like if some guy goes over there and he, let's say he's got, you know, a hundred million dollars, right? And he goes, I'm going to build a thirty million dollar house and I'm going to make it like Versailles. Yeah. Don't. Okay. Yeah. You, you you'll you won't get there. You can't do it. And so. Oh, wow. What know, if it was a smaller home? Again. Because the uh, the ornamentation that they use is appropriate for a palace. Yeah. Remember what Louis the Great was trying to do, the 14th. He was trying to impress all the other countries so that when they came to France, they'd be like, holy crap, these guys are incredible. Yeah. Okay. So 
And it worked. Yeah, he had a. He <laughs> worked. Gilded, he gilded yeah. his roof. Okay. Yeah. He gold leafed his yeah. roof. That's no one would see it. It's a power move. No, no, no. The the cresting oh, of the roof. It. Yeah, you you drove and saw it. It was gold leafed. I mean. Anyway, it's just. Don't use the Corinthian. Don't use the Corinthian because you don't you don't you know. You can't. Yeah, we never. So we got our components. Couldn't be more happy. They look like they're going to be perfect. The only thing I'm nervous is, did I give him the right dimensions? Because he'd never been out there to measure anything. I just brought back a template. Hopefully it was good. Because, uh, yeah, I would hate to be like, hey, those, those volutes that you carved yesterday, yeah, they're not going to work. But um, I, think, I think we'll be good. Check it out what we've got going on right here. So we've got these Z-shaped shutters. I um, originally built these in Sapili, but it was way too heavy, so we had to go ahead and switch wood species over to Spanish cedar. So we've got three of these in the truck that we milled yesterday at the shop, and those are going to go on these three windows right here. This one's going to be custom for the vent hood, so we've basically made all the parts, and I've got them all back here in this cluster of a disaster. I'm actually looking for a van right now. I went to a Ford dealership and drove the transits and I gotta be honest, I was not impressed at all. Uh, and I did have a Sprinter for my family before, like a family vehicle, and uh, it was a much better drive. I think it's because it was diesel. It was just a better feeling. Um, that Ford Transit just was not for me. It was a mid-roof, um, not the extended one, just kind of the mid-grade. Mid and, and then plus all the games that they play at the dealership, I was just not a fan of it. So I am in pursuit of a Sprinter. This is another little fun project we're installing right now. These are some custom vents for the AC and they've got these little pitch louvers all made in Sapili and this is going to pop right in. We made this little one right here. It's just hanging out right now and then there's one right here as well for this long vent that we're going to be putting in. But unfortunately I cannot get where the mantle is today down here because it's a spray booth. So our mantle location is right through these doors and is completely blocked off. I'm allowed to go in there, but all the pecky is masked off and I can't get to it. So what we're gonna have to do is come back. So I've been waiting all this time for those volutes and the schedule just turned out this way. But uh, I went down there, it's like a gas chamber and those guys are just standing in there with, with no mask, it's so crazy. Your first time building shutters, huh? Never made one in my life. <laughs> what about this custom dog door? Never made dog doors. Really? Is the really the first one? Yeah. But you've made a lot of shutters. Yes. Yeah. Nothing like this one. <laughs> okay. Is this is it shot already from this side or? Yeah, he already shot it. Two and three eighths. Two and three eighths. This stupid pencil, I keep grabbing it and it's not sharp. Shutters are assembled, tacked together. We'll come on the back side, right on our chalk lines, and put some stainless steel screws and really get it together. And these are way lighter than the Sapili ones. <laughs> All right, so not what I wanted to happen here scheduling and other trades 
doesn't always go as you think it will. I was really looking forward to getting that mantle done, but another thing I'm really looking forward to starting is my mantle. So we are gonna head back to town and uh, take a look at my mantle. I got, I got some pieces moving, some parts moving on this thing, and uh, I think you're gonna like it. Look at that glorious ceiling. So we're back over here at my house, of course. And I don't even know if you remember this. It's been so long because this is going back before the barn. And this is where I'm like, did I make a mistake even getting into this stuff here? Because nothing has changed really. Like I've got a mess in here. The scaffold is still here. It's been rough. I'll just say that. Yeah, it's, it's getting to the point of ridiculousness where it's like, Ashley's like, dude, we want to use our house and I can't blame her like and I want to be done with this So I know I'm, it sounds like I'm always complaining because I guess I am I'm always like well, how much where's my time? I don't have time Where do you get more time? You just can't so Yeah, man, it's crazy. We got some stuff to do so here's my main focus right now. So this is gonna be my fireplace. It actually is my fireplace. Uh, we had this installed. I did not install that. And it's, it's not the exact kind of fireplace I wanted. I wanted one that was like more traditional that went to the floor that had like a brick back because the mantle I'm gonna create here is gonna be way more traditional than like what this one's fitting for. But we had a fireplace here already and this joker right here burned his tail on it. And we have the kids too, so this is the one that we had to kind of compromise on. This one has a screen that won't let uh, dogs' fluffy tails get in there and catch on fire. And but actually the one that he burned himself on <laughs> he knocked that box down. The one that he burned himself on had a glass on it. So this has a screen and a glass. So what much more protective there. And of course we have little children running around here. So I did have to make a compromise there. It'll still look good. The proportions are still good, but I'm gonna create like a, like a fake hearth, not fake, but kind of an unnecessary hearth. So these three six and a half inch pieces here are all three CM marble, which is like an inch and a quarter. And then this one here, that's the hearth. That's gonna be, uh, that one is two CM. So it's like right at three quarters. And that one is gonna be sunken into the floor. So I've got three quarter inch flooring. I'll cut the flooring out, sink that down so it'll be flush and that'll go right in front. And then you can see my detail over here. I've got this cross setted corner look out of plywood. So that's exactly where that marble is gonna go. And then the one on the floor that's gonna be sunken in. So it'll look real traditional. And I'm using this book over here, Traditional American Rooms by Bryn Hole, Christine Frank. This has a ton of inspiration and I'll show you the one I'm kind of basing my build off of. So this is what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna have all this carved by Vasil, the guy you met earlier in the video. Oh no, I'm joking, but that is nuts. I would do something like that if I could afford it. But this is kind of the idea. Samsung frame TV above the mantle. You can see the cross-headed corner detail there. That's the exact same idea. That's, this is where I got it from. There's another one that I'm gonna base mine more off of. But the Samsung Frame TV, although you know I heard it's not the best for software, it does have the most realistic artwork look to it. So that is gonna go right here. And I've got this media thing that I'm uh, you know, recessed in the wall. It's adjustable with these little screws so I can bring it forward. And that outlet is just there temporarily. That is gonna come around top and be um, installed right there. And then my idea right here, I made this little shelf. My idea is to somehow hide a sound bar on this shelf and have it like behind the woodwork. And maybe you push a button and it comes out, I don't know. Or maybe it's just the woodwork has like a screen on it. I'll have to figure that out, but I do wanna have like a hidden sound bar and that's, there's a hole right here 
for that wire to go up to and plug into there. So two plugs or one outlet with the two receptacles is plenty, one for the TV and one for the sound bar. And then this is pretty cool because the Samsung Frame TV has like a box. So I can just zip tie that box in here. That's what these are for. Here's the thing for the sconces. This is just so I can get it at the right height and then get it, you know, when I get to my final dimensions, just kind of slide it around. But yeah, there's that. But let me finish showing you the exact one I'm basing it off. I say exact, but it's gonna be loosely based on it. And if you don't have this book, there's like nowhere to get like information about historic mantles. They're amazing, as you can see. Like, look, I mean, look at that. That's nuts. Uh, you gotta dig into this stuff. You gotta go buy books. You're not gonna find this stuff on YouTube. You're rarely gonna find it on Google. You kind of got to get get into your research mode and really look for this stuff. And that's kind of our goal with Passion for Craft is to kind of bring these details to the forefront because if people knew the opportunities of what's out there and how to build stuff, I mean, the world would be a much more beautiful place, I think. So check it out. That is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, I do want to do that raking break, broken pediment, so I do want to do that. That's the frame TV. That is actually an artwork, but you know, in mine it's going to be a TV. Uh, like I said, maybe not doing the pollinated trees. Probably not doing the dental um, triglyphs on the frieze will be cool. Definitely not doing this carved detail, although if I had the capability I would. Uh, I would do I would do it just like this if I had the capability, but we're gonna work with what we got and essentially My goal is to kind of you know have that look right there as you can see I got a lot of work to do I am gonna put this back on here Because I'm making dust, but I haven't been being completely lazy. I did pick up this door from architectural salvage um, It's a, a, a repurposed door 100 bucks got that turned this thing into an outswing because remember we had these two doors right here They were kind of fighting each other. So that one swings into that laundry room now. This one swings outside I tried to protect this thing as much as possible It's already primed and painted on the other side This side is just primed and then I put a flashing cap on top of it And then I cocked all the joints like on the raised panel um, so water can't get in there and I cocked all the joints on all these muntins as well just to try to you know keep this thing for as long as possible I mean throw I wanted to build a door for this but throwing building a door into the mix of all this stuff so like, you know what I'm gonna buy one I built the jam for it we'll convert it to an outswing it's been great I, I like the outswing it's cool it kind of opens everything up and it's not in the way over here anymore of course We'll take that all the way over. Kind of really, especially this time of year with the weather, it's awesome. So I got that done. I'm happy with that. I'll make jam extensions to bring it out. This was actually the jam I made when I was, I had a whole nother idea here. I was gonna do French doors and there's been a lot of iterations of my mind here and there's gonna be another one. I'm gonna make these windows a little bit smaller. Nothing crazy, just a little bit smaller. And speaking of windows, the other thing I did was create a jam for a transom window. There's already an existing transom window there, of course, but in my opinion, it is way too big, so we are making that smaller, and that's that Sapili jam you see right there. Um, it's just that one there, like when I was doing this, Ashley was even like, why are you making our window smaller? Proportionally, it looks bad. But with that one now, you can see the before and after because there they are. I'll, I'll climb up on this ladder and kind of give you you know, we can get at level with it. But see, that's what it looks, and even this camera doesn't do it justice. Let me zoom in so it's better proportioned. So there's that with the transom window, but then it was that much bigger, which made a big difference in my opinion. Because when you look at this thing, you know, you step back and look at it, it looks much more correct now. When you think about it without that new jam, because all that old glass is going away and it's gonna shrink to that. So once I did that, even she was like, yeah, it, it's much more proportional. If you think of traditional windows, transom windows, 
they never had that gigantic transom over them. So that is what's going on with this project. I know, not, not a ton of progress, but I'm hoping to change that. And it's gonna be little by little, step by step. So first thing I need to do, I need to get this electrical sorted out. I'm gonna get my uh, sconce lights mounted. I'll show you what those look like, or, or at least the outlets mounted, but I have the actual sconces here on site and then get that plug in like I was saying and just really frame and block this thing out so I have stuff to shoot my mantle into and my over mantle into so let's do it that's enough talking man I feel like I just feel like we're catching up though old friends I haven't talked in a while so uh, yeah let me get some of these details knocked out so getting this sconce placement good is going to be really easy with this because I'll just get it to my right height and my right drywall projection which is half inch and then I can move it exactly where I want it. I know this is a ceiling fan box. This is the only thing I seen at the big box that had that adjustment in it. So I was like, you know what? As much as I change things, I want to use something like this where if I decide something else or something changes in the build, for example, I'm having a traditional mantle with an over mantle. At this moment, I don't know if I'm going to wrap this corner with with millwork. I think I'm just gonna use drywall and that's why I'm gonna have this come out a half inch past my framing. It ain't much, but it's honest work. It, it ain't much, but it's a little progress. I'll take it. We got our sconce placement, correct height, adjustable horizontally. I gotta get up there and pull on some of that Romex. I know I have more slack than what I'm getting here. Get that stapled off, bring this outlet into this box, put a backer for this sound, sound bar, just kind of basic stuff. So I'm not gonna go into that in this video. I think next video, you'll see this completely wrapped in drywall. I have all my electrical components done. And the next big thing will be getting that marble installed. I've gotta to talk to my fabricator because I don't, I've never installed marble and I forgot to ask him how the heck do you guys even adhere it to plywood? How do you adhere it to the slab? I'm sure there's some kind of adhe adhesive that he'll point me in the right direction to. So that will be coming up in the next video. We'll be messing around with this marble and I really want to show this because I feel like is these type of details, if they're executed correctly, can make a huge difference and it's kind of the old school way of building a cross-headed corner fireplace mantle with marble. They're all through that book. Amazing, I have the opportunity to build one. Not a lot of people know about these traditional mantles. Um, definitely like home builders aren't offering this, you know, most of them. Um, usually now it's just like a big chunk of cedar or something. It's kind of obnoxious how lazy we've gotten. So I'm hoping to incorporate some detail into this thing, as you can see. 